like the stability criterion we use the formula n is equal to p minus z or we can write in other way z is equal to p minus n what is z z is the number of closed loop holes that are lying in right of the s plane and the p is number of open loop holes that are lying in right of the s plane and the n is number of encirclements uh, around the critical point minus 1 plus j0 in anti clockwise direction if there are encirclements in clockwise then we should take the n value as positive if z is 0 then system is stable if z is not equal to 0 my closed loop system is unstable if the nyquist plot passes through minus 1 plus a0 the system is marginally stable so p information we can find out what how can you find you know the open loop transfer function gh of s from that we can find out what is p p is nothing but number of open loop holes that are lying in right off of the s plane and n we can find out from the nyquist plot we'll see how to find the nyquist plot then from that we can uh, use the formula like the stability formula z is equal to p minus z if z is 0 closed loop system is stable z is not 0 closed loop system is unstable now let us see how can you plot the nyquist plot so to plot the nyquist plot uh, we need to look at what is that the closed loop contour or the arbitrary contour which we have taken the name is nyquist path so nyquist path is basically a arbitrary contour uh, or a closed path but Nyquist has used the entire right half of the S plane as the Nyquist path. Now, for type 0 system, there are no poles in open loop transfer function, then my uh, Nyquist path is going to be like this. The direction is clockwise. You can look at like this. This is the I am trying to cover the entire right half of the S plane. So, this is from 0 to place J infinity, and I have a semicircle with raw tends to infinite, radius is infinity. We can write R in e power minus j theta theta is from plus 5 by 2 minus 5 by 2 and this is uh, your minus j infinity to 0 so i have three sections when you look at here i have three paths path 1 path 2 path 3 so if it is a type 1 system then uh, i uh, type 1 system there exists one pole here type 1 or more type 2 type 3 more than that so whenever there is a pole here then i need to avoid that I just said when you pass through that then uh, in the Nyquist plot then the mapping then there are some discontinuities okay to avoid that I am taking a small semicircle here now how many paths four paths so one is small semicircle around the origin or tends to infinity so from 0 place to uh, place j in, uh, place j infinity place j infinity and from place j infinity to again I have minus j infinity minus j infinity to 0 minus so total I have four paths in this case whenever you have type 1 type 2 systems then if you have complex poles then i have imaginary poles imaginary poles one pole here one other pole here so whenever there is a polar zero then you have to bypass it this is the corresponding nyquist path now what are the steps to be followed to plot the nyquist path so basically nyquist plot is mapping from s plane to gh of s plane so what you are going to map nyquist path i have nyquist path uh, generally uh, we take the four paths and those four paths must be mapped from s plane to gh plane how you are going to map results in the nyquist plot once the nyquist plot is available then find out how many number of encirclements then you know p you know uh, n then you can find out z is p minus n to find the closed loop stability of the system now mapping so there are let us say four maps you know from nyquist path map one so what is this uh, mapping of p1 path one uh, it is simply a polar clock because in this case the omega is varying from zero place to uh, your plus j infinity which is nothing but my polar plot so you plot the polar plot that is going to the map mapping of p1 ne next mapping of p2 so mapping of p2 uh, is nothing but uh, uh, it is one or more semicircles around the origin with a radius r tends to infinity so when in uh, in nyquist path r tends to infinity whereas uh, when it comes to nyquist plot is r tends to zero so when we have r tends to zero where is the critical point the critical point is going to be somewhere uh, minus 1 plus a0 so whereas this path 2 is around the origin only so this won't disturb or this won't 
uh, really affect the stability of the system. So this can be simply ignored or uh, we can put dot for that mapping of P2. So mapping of P2 can be neglected uh, in Nyquist plot. Then mapping of P3. So in this case omega is varying from minus infinity to uh, 0 minus. So whenever you have minus infinity to 0 minus it is the inverse polar plot. So inverse polar plot is simply mirror image of my polar plot whereas the direction should be opposite. You should take the opposite direction because uh, when the total direction should be uh, continuous. Then mapping of P4. So this exists only if you have open loop pole at origin. If there are no open loop pole origin then you don't need this. And uh, how to map this? So when you are mapping here into GH of S plane, it is one or more semicircles around the origin with R tends to infinity. R tends to infinity in GH of S itself, whereas R tends to zero in uh, S plane. In S plane, S tends to zero becomes R tends to infinity in GH plane. Now, uh, how many number of any circlements? So number of uh, semicircles. Number of semicircles is equal to the number of poles at origin. If you have one pole at origin, only one semicircle. If you have more than that, then those many number of semicircles we need to take. And what should be the direction? Direction we should take always clockwise. What will be the starting point? The starting point of uh, your path 4 is always the ending point of the inverse polar plot. And the ending point of my path 4 is the starting point of polar plot. And I say direction is uh, clockwise. So this path 4 is basically number of semicircles, number of semicircles depends on number of poles at origin and uh, direction is clockwise and the starting point is the ending point of inverse polar plot, the ending point is the starting point of polar plot. So when you map all these things into GH plane then that becomes the Nyquist plot of the system.